Hello everyone, I am Ayla. Um, this street is Karşıdaran from Istanbul. This street has got some advantages and disadvantages. The first disadvantage is the cemetery in here. Cemetery is located on the center of the Tashtenen and it is very trouble for me because I can't hear um, from here, especially in night. And another issue is that transportation uh, is very problematic uh, topic in here because, uh, of course, there is uh, some uh, auto. Uh, okay. But um, there isn't metro, metro bus, and this is a very big problem. Uh, but there are quite many advantages uh, in here. Uh, for example, um, there is butcher, uh, there is some local shopping, uh, and there is, a uh, there is a shopping mall in here, and uh, there is a hairdresser in the shopping mall, and there is a supermarket in the shopping mall. Everything to me here. Okay. Hi, I will analyze Fikirtepe. This is a neighborhood in the center of the city. I chose this place because urban transformation started here. As you can see, there are lots of local shops like Fraternal Association or Local Buffet. On the left, there is a small park. With the help of these local street shops, people meet and spend their time. They meet their needs from shops and their economies are developing. These are the shops in the neighborhood. In this place where there are empty construction debris, security problems arise at night, building in new spaces achieved by building environment, changing in nature and architecture. To increase welfare, government should increase security controls. In my observations, mostly men worked in the shops and women appeared in the windows of the houses. This shows there is a gender division of labor. I took the road down the street separating the urban and slums. Just after passing a street, then the residences appeared in front of me. Large buildings bring population increase to the neighborhood, make crowds and increase traffic. So life becomes expensive and the poor local people have to migrate from there to the suburbs. As Peter Marcus states, cities have been divided according to lifestyle and imbalance of power. The urban division increased after the luxury houses. In this place, the socialization area of the people living in the luxury housing on the right side and the lives of the residents socializing in the place called Kuratane on the left side are different from each other and this creates conflicts and tension in the city. Thank you for your listening. Hello, today I am in the Bojnian neighborhoods of Istanbul, Pendik. What is special about this place is Bosnian people mostly migrate to this place. So you, it's possible to see the culture all around. For those of you who have been to Balkans, there are two very important things for Balkanian people. And that's the pop culture and the sports. Especially horse racing is very famous among that. And I will show how that culture reflected here. So, here you got Balkan style pubs. Here you got horse racing, Ganyan. And you could see the street around more tall people with color, uh, colorful eyes, Balkans looking people. So people keep living on their cultures, uh, mixing with the. Uh, we are also the Bosnian and the Turkish cultures are also pretty much mixed. We are uh, pretty much uh, the same people, but that part of us. That part of our civilization keeps living on here also, here in Panic. Thank you. Hello everyone, today I'm in Sanjaktepe, which is located in the most Asian continent. Sanjaktepe has a population density, that's why I wanted to choose this place and I will talk about the advantages and disadvantages. Um, 
It's a place that attaches great importance to infrastructure works and aims to increase the culture of transportation. Sanjak de Pesuquer, neither too big, neither too small, it is very good to see people face a cost to succor. Communication and widgets so important for creating successful uh, public spaces. This succor has lots of local shops, but on the other hand, we can say that it is a compact place because they build endless that some structures and it doesn't make it local and we want to be far away from people people uh, that's why it is a big huge disadvantages every uh, home every structures are the same hello my name is Gizem and this place is Ataşehir to begin with I choose this place because this place is a good example of urbanization for me Architecture is very important in here. For example, various buildings are very different. Like Lefebvre said, building environment and architectural structure affect population density. And uh, in Atışehir, population density is quite high. Other than we see the water garden right here. Water garden is an area where people can socialize. It includes restaurants, bars, gyms and shops. People can come here and communicate. They can talk about news. We can even call the water garden local shopping street because this area makes citizens more sociable. People spend their time in this place. Also, this area provides for the needs of both neighbors and strangers. Like they would have a safe, these are linked to social relations, technologies and lifestyles. In Atashay, we can see this situation. Atashay was an empty land 10 or 15 years ago. Now it is almost the center of the Anatolian side of Istanbul. I have two things I can talk about because that place uh, I have a lot. I am living in four years, so this place means so much to me. I love here because you can see the old traditional everywhere in cities, in markets, coffee shops, or grocery stores. So that people are like family more than likely colleges, even in little shops. I am in love with the atmosphere in the neighborhood. People in that also protect the architectural structures. Another big point about this place is the relationship between neighbors and neighbors are so strong. While going down, it's just you can smile and say hello to everyone. If and even if you are in trouble, you can always ask for help. We are currently in Kasım Pasha, and here it's very interesting to see the differences between the the population. Because on the one hand, we have um, a very rich population, as you can see from the cars also, and just beside the road, just when you cross the road to the right. It becomes extremely different. Take a second to see the luxury here. Like both sides of the road, they're extremely well designed. We are now crossing the road just to the right and go down. This is just another road to the right and you can see how the people, so how the type of people changes. But at least we have some place to go. And also the pollution is a factor that marks the atmosphere. You can see it's everything but clean here. Hi, my name is Mana and I'm going to introduce you my neighborhood, which is Suabie. It's a this is the one parallel street to Bada Caddesi. And why I chose this place, my neighborhood, is that it's under heavy construction uh, and it's very noisy and the neighborhood changed. The local people are going to uh, move to another places 
um, and yeah so I'm going to show you one example like this whole street is like this but I'm going to show you just one so this one right there you see it's a local uh, old building like a house where it's only like three stairs and I think and then this one it's way higher and bigger so uh, if we compare them the people living there uh, they have way better relationships and um, however here they don't even know who is living next door so I think this also brings the security issue with it and like five years before this street was all like maximum maximum length of the buildings were like that so and there's another issue which is this this house used to have sea view however after the construction they lost it I think this is a nice example where the local is moved to another places like that Hi, my name is Yaran and I decided to choose Altınzade because uh, it's a junction for all many roads uh, Altınzade is an important place because it has a bridge connection to the European uh, side of the Istanbul and there are also offices in here so people don't stop by therefore generally it has traffic jam problem you can see and there are lack of local shopping places options uh, the shopping mall might be the reason of that uh, in my opinion to criticize it there are lots of high uh, buildings in here and I think uh, it is hard to breathe in here so thank you for watching Hello, I'm in Kadıköy right now uh, I choose this space since Kadıköy is the epicenter with its cultural and artistic opportunities abundance of eating and drinking places, cafes and bars it's also a meeting place and enables social interactions for Istanbulites and their visitors. Kadıköy also provides a, a transportation opportunities with ferry, bus, metro bus and Marmaray. Moreover, bull is the symbol of Kadıköy. Next to the bull, there is a Bahariye street. Bahariye street is one of the local shopping streets. Here, it's possible to find many shopping places from the famous brands to the small artisan stores. In recent years, under the influence of capitalism, this district has changed due to new brands and business centers. But it's a still a place of history. Hello, I'm Merve. This place is Çekmeköy Mimar Sinan neighborhood. To begin with, I chose this place because this place is crucial for me. To enlarge, eight years ago, we moved our house with my family to Mimar Sinan neighborhood. When we come there, eight years ago, this place was totally different. For example, this aulu was not here yet. This place was a jungle. Um, also, there were uh, not a natural park like this. Day by day, I saw that this place is also growing like me. To get deep, I could say uh, that this place demonstrates be an urbanization example. About this place, it is important for me because my best friendships are constituted in this neighborhood. In addition, I like my family house and also because of this, this place is vital for me. Lastly, I live with people whose ideas and cultures match with mine. To criticize, although, as I said, cultural match with mine, uh, there, there are also some cultural differences. For example, in some regions in Mimar Sinan neighborhood, there are slums. In addition, sometimes I see that in some places there could be gender differences. To enlarge, I want to give an example. In park, when the sun uh, goes down, women cannot walk because they do not feel safe. About criticism, I think that government should increase security in this neighborhood and also government should operate slums according to the new urbanization procedures.